uh, yesterday in my WhatsApp group, uh, you know, I've uh, opened it to, uh, for people to join or, you know, anyone can join. So this guy joined one of the many. Uh, he joined the group and uh, after, yeah, you know, people started introducing him themselves, he asked this question uh, uh, to the members in the group who just like to ask, how do, how do I get a job in Dubai, UAE? Okay, he's an engineer and he wants to get a job in Dubai. So because he asked the group openly uh, for anyone and everyone to comment, I openly asked him, uh, can you tell me what is your salary and what are you expecting? So if I roughly remember, he said he was getting in dirhams, okay, AED, I think he was getting 1,200 or 1,300 or 500, whatever. And he was looking at Dubai to get a four, yeah, you know, into four, like 6,000, that range. So naturally I asked him, uh, can you send your resume to the group, and which he did. As soon as I saw his resume, uh, I noticed that he was like a junior thing. I told him that uh, uh, there are jobs, because he was asking, are there jobs, you know, for engineers like me? I said, there are plenty of jobs. Okay, jobs are never ending. There'll always be a job, there'll always be a vacancy. However, if you're expecting a good salary, that is not possible. You'll get a job, but you'll not get an attractive salary. <coughs> to which he asked, why? So I said, uh, because one is, you know, there is an oversupply of Indians, okay, uh, who go to UAE. And secondly, what makes you stand out? I mean, your skills are as generic as anyone else. So then the next question which he asked, I was not, I didn't expect him to ask, but he said, uh, how can I get uh, a good salary? How can I get... How can I make big money? How can I uh, be, you know, the typical succeed in life and make big money and earn big money and all that? So uh, what tips do you suggest? I told him, Frank, because, you know, you want to hear it. I said, I don't think you have the intelligence, the personality, the character, the finesse, whatever, to make big money. Um, you know, <laughs> it looked pretty brutal, but that was a fact. Then he said, sir, why do you say so? I said, it's very simple. You don't even know how to craft your own resume. You don't know how to market and sell yourself. You don't know how to even uh, apply for a job or get a job. You're asking WhatsApp groups how to get a job, what should I do? So you have zero intelligence in all these areas. And your earning less than the minimum wage, okay? You're struggling just to get a minimum wage. Uh, how are you going to be rich and successful and all that? First you sort out your shit, right? The basics you sort out, then you talk big, big. Uh, and I told him, everything takes time. Like for example, me, when I started my career, I was earning 600 dirhams, uh, my, you know, the, one of the earlier jobs, 600 drums is a bellboy. Bellboy means outside the hotel, I carry the luggage and all that. And I said there was accommodation. Sometimes I would get food, but 600 bucks was my salary and I had to stand outside in the sun for 12 to 14 hours. So that's how I started my career. And uh, there was nobody to guide me. No internet those days, no Google, no social media, no nothing. So, you know, trial and error. I climbed up to where I'm getting what I used to earn for a full month of 12 hours of work, five days, so, no, sorry, six to seven days a week. Sometimes no holiday. Today I earn in one hour. So obviously I've upgraded myself. Same thing with you. And then obviously other members also shared their point of view. And then he said, what is the highest salary I'll get? I said, you can expect two 2,000 bucks, dirhams. You're getting 1,500, 
in India, you can expect 2,000. And I could sense the disappointment because he was expecting, you know, six or more. Then one other member chimed in. This guy is a South Indian who worked in a labor class kind of, uh, not labor class, sorry, manual labor kind of uh, a job that is a mechanic, uh, you, you know, blue collar job. And he said, well, come to Canada, you'll get a job. Okay, come to Canada. Because he also, he went to Dubai. From Dubai, he migrated to Canada. And now he's almost settled down there. Now, because I didn't have time, I didn't respond. But see, here's the thing. A guy who hardly is able to survive in India, who, think up, who doesn't know anything about Dubai and uh, has to literally struggle to land in Dubai and get a job in Dubai, how in the world is going to go to Canada? Who is going to pay the money? How is he going to survive for months and months of unemployment? Who will pay his bills? And what if things don't work out? What is plan B? See, it's very easy to say, oh, I succeeded in Canada. I have a job. Uh, you'll also succeed. No, what guarantee is there? And maybe that guy who succeeded in getting a good job, he went at a time where maybe there were jobs available. Maybe it was pre-COVID. Maybe there were vacancies. But the market has changed, right? So now how do you manage? And what people don't consider is your life, your conditions, your skill, your experience, your personality, your level of intelligence may not be this guy's. Maybe you're smart. Maybe this guy's a dumb fuck. Maybe you're good at your job. Maybe he's not. Maybe you had... See, this guy who gave him that advice, he worked in Dubai or UAE for a couple of years. He must have had some savings. Maybe his family or friends, you know, I'm just saying, maybe family. They chipped in a little money, so he had some buffer. This guy doesn't have even that. So how do you manage? So that is why, you know, when you give generic advice, one size fits all without understanding the profile of the person. It's, it's a bad idea. And uh, understand this. There are so many Indians who are looking uh, for an easy way out to escape uh, their current situation. They think, if I go here or there or whatever, finish. Solution. I'll find an easy solution. There is no easy solution. Yes, you'll get rid of the old problems, but now new problems will challenge you. How do you face those challenges, man? And if you do not have money or buffer to cushion you, you don't have the basic skills of survival, you don't know how to market and sell yourself. Come on. And forget the market and sell yourself. You don't even know how to Present yourself. You have to go to a WhatsApp group where there are total strangers and ask, please help me, guide me. Then what you'll survive, boss, in the real world? What are you going to do? Go to Canada and start asking WhatsApp groups, say, what do I do? What do I, where do I go? There's only so much people will help you for free, right? Sooner or later, they'll say, you know, they'll start ignoring you. What do you do then? Beg? And the, I think the final and most important point is, what's plan B? Let's say you went all the way to Canada, things didn't work out, and now they're asking you to leave. So what will happen? All the money, all the time, all the effort, everything wasted. Then what you'll do? So this is what people need to consider. See, I wish there was an easy way out. I wish there was a one-size-fits-all solution or go here and your problem will be solved. But every, each and every human being is unique. The different set of challenges. And I'll tell you this, the fundamental basics 
are pretty universal. If you do not know how to create and craft your own profile, you don't know how to sell yourself to your existing audience, to the country where you are staying, to the people you know, how will you do it to total strangers in a foreign country where there is always racism, favoritism, and you know, people despise immigrants. Ah, I guess people only can will learn the hard way. So anyway, that is what I shared and this is what I wanted to share with you guys and I thought maybe ah, it would be helpful to tell you there are no easy solutions to life. Please don't go to groups and ask generic advice. Sit down with a professional or someone who has experience. If you value your time, effort, money, your career, then get proper advice. You start asking generic groups with just random people, you'll get only bullshit. Anyway, end of the day, you have to pay the price, nobody else. And maybe that's the only way some people will learn. So this is what I wanted to share. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys take care. Sign off.